guys welcome to my channel my name is made for love and today <clears throat> bringing you a message from your i think it's from dm i'm not sure um i'm going to get into the main message but whilst i was shuffling um this prince um kept falling out i was like you know what i'll just leave it on the table okay it says romantic charm and potential for power okay so i think this is definitely the energy that you know, most of them are embodying right now because I'm, I am, I have been picking up that there are two waves um, following my channel right now. <clears throat> One on a more experienced leg of the journey, and then there's some that are now coming into this journey. You know, asking questions like what's DM and, um, and DF, that kind of thing. So I do hope that the ones who are more experienced, who have more knowledge, when you see these kind of questions being asked down in the comments and I'm not able to respond or whatever it is, um, if you can just, you know, drop the knowledge <laughs> um, for them and just help them out. Because you have to remember when you were on, you had just started your journey um, as well. I remember that my readings are for Twin Flames and Higher Level Soulmate Dynamics. You have, I can't tell you which one unless you know you pay for that particular service anywho so this is where they are hiding their feelings keeping their feelings behind their back you know as we say keep it in their back keeping them keeping their feelings in their back pocket right now but definitely embodying that spirit of truth and that spirit of passion and love and maybe even a little purity in it with this white polka dots here i don't particularly like polka dots but anyway that's a different story um so yeah, they're, they're hiding their feelings, but they know their feelings. And I think this is what most of them are embodying um, right now. I do believe this might be for the more advanced group, but you will take the messages um, as they resonate. Anywho, so the message that I got this morning, <clears throat> the energy that I felt this morning, when I woke up, when I started shuffling my cars, that kind of stuff, um, the, the energy that I felt was about, was just a sense of calm, a sense of knowing, a sense of, acceptance of everything of everything and from, and from both counterparts that's what I got and the phrase that came into my mind was whatever is to is must is and that's what we say I mean most of the Caribbean islands um, and it's a spin on you know like que sera sera que sera sera whatever will be will be the future is not ours to see well maybe it is Okay, Sarah, Sarah. So that's what you feel. That's what I'm feeling right now. I think it's a, an acceptance by both counterparts. You know what? Whatever is to be is to be. But at this moment, I have to deal and eliminate whatever toxic energy might be in my life and do what is best for me. I, I think that's what both counterparts are doing right now. Trying to be the best version of themselves for themselves, not for their counterpart, but for themselves. And it's just a level of acceptance and, and a level of knowing that if this is to is it will is no matter who wants to do spell work or who wants to um attack the df and all those kinds of different things whatever is to is will is there's nothing that can stop it the hand of fate will intervene when the time is right it's as simple as that okay so there's no need to panic no need to rush or anything like that you just go about your business and being the best version of yourself and doing the things that you enjoy okay all right so let's get into this i'm going to be doing using different media today um you know to get the messages these are some little cubes that i'm well i would want to say made i bought the cubes and then i stock things on them but that's to give us a little idea what the hell is inside here a oh, piece of plastic ha huh. somebody's plastic somebody's fake anywho remember whatever happens in a reading is part of the reading anywho so i put like those words, um, different signs. So let's see what comes out, see what resonates. And then I'm going to these dice, which have uh, um, more stories on it. So let's see. All right, so what am I getting here? So we have a strawberry. We have a shell. We have, a, a, it's a weird star. Like a bolt of light. We have, cancer energy so if anybody's with a cancer that might be significant and then we also have shells so definitely strong cancer energy coming out here we have adventure it says here we have good vibes only we have a starfish so another star so two stars and then we have this like weed or this like plant like growth so what am I getting from this? I'm getting that it's like 
both parties are in their perspective corners in their shells hiding their feelings um, from each other that's what I'm getting here but somebody thinks you're really sweet somebody thinks that you're really sweet that you're really kind um, there's a lot as I said a lot of healing going on because we have this star here and then we have this other starfish here and starfish at the bottom of the ocean right so everybody's deep in their feelings your person's deep in their feelings but I'm feeling like they're guarded but they're gearing up for this adventure they're realizing that they're on this particular journey with you and you know what being around you is just like good good vibes only and they get good vibes about this their intuitions on point um, they're really feeling that they are on the right track okay and that you know they're hoping that this connection um, can grow from strength to strength and that they can rebuild um, and really nurture this beautiful flower, this beautiful plant um, that is your love. So this is the energy. So I think both of you guys are guarded right now. Both of you guys, I'm um, doing a lot of major healing, but both of you guys um, symbolizing that star energy, that Aquarian energy, which is rebellious, which is about hope. It's about healing. It's about the end of karma. These are the energy that I'm feeling. So I'm just feeling, no, good vibes only. You're like you're at peace. Even though there's so many different things that are happening all over the world, I think there's a sense of peace and acceptance about whatever is happening right now. Okay? Everybody is doing them. Being the best version of themselves for them. All right. So let's see what does your person want you to know. So these are my storytelling dice, which I did not make. <laughs> Maybe they'll be more efficient, right? These are my storytelling lines. So let's see the story that they're coming with today. All right, let's see. I always read them in order. Okay, so you guys can stay here, you here, and you will be the last one. Oh, somebody said. Okay, so we have a girl or a woman. We have a vampire bat. Okay, look, DF here and DM. <laughs> DF and DM. Interesting. Okay. This is DM. This is DM. This is DF. This is DF. This is connecting energy. This is DM. This is DF. And this might be connecting energy also. Okay, good. <clears throat> so we have over on this side. I thought it was a message from your person. But no, this is a message from spirit. And they're given the connections. They're given a story about the connection. Okay. So... We have over here DF, and she is quite happy. She is quite happy with her life right now, okay? She's there standing in her power. <clears throat> she's not guarded because her hands are behind her back, um, and that's also a signal that she's not putting any effort into this relationship right now either. And then we have the vampire bat. So a kind of an energy vampire going on here, right? Um, this person feeling a lot of, very codependent on this person over here. Um, this person stalking. But this person also following their instincts. You know why? Because bats don't have eyes, do they? They hunt by sonar. Okay? So they send messages out there, just like us. That's like us. They send messages out there, vibrational messages out there, and then it bounces back. So I'm getting that. This person, they're getting a lot of telepathic messages about you. Okay, they're following their intuition, they're following their instincts, and they're going on blind faith right now. This is what I'm getting from this. This DF enjoying life, and life is serving up DF her piece of the pie. Okay, we have this pizza here. Okay, enjoying life. Look, play skating, they're skating through life. She is in the flow. Okay, she's in the flow of the universe. This DM is lost in his thoughts. Lost in his thoughts. Think about what could, what could have been. Really head really up in the clouds right now. But also, I'm getting, doing a lot of research. I'm going to pull a tarot card and see what DM has been researching. We have the three of pentacles in reverse. So one, I'm getting a message, how to get rid of the third party. That's one. What else is he researching? Two, 
he's doing a lot of healing as well. So I don't know if it's self-help books or, um, yeah, self-help books by gurus, that kind of thing. But it's, it's books on healing, researching him. They might even be um, consulting, yeah, consulting, either consulting books or professionals. But there's some kind of expertise that they're getting that's helping them heal. What else are they researching on? Okay, judgment, the spiritual path, their life purpose. They're trying to figure things out. They're trying to figure things out here. This judgment. So they're trying to figure out their life purpose. That's what they're doing a research on. The I'm hearing the purposeful life. That might be one of the books that they're reading. But they're not taking action right now. For some of them, they might be doing... Um, Research like I'm getting sex addictions because this is this is like uh, yeah, <clears throat> not taking action, but I'm also getting sex addiction because this is the the misappropriation of spiritual and sexual energy. So they could be doing research research on sex addictions here, maybe self sabotage, conflict resolution. Let me get one more card. But th this looks like the broad themes that they're looking into. Yeah, and look, we have here frustration. And again, another card about releasing the third party. So this is what they're doing. They're trying to figure out by doing extensive research, by consulting some kind of expert. I don't know if it's a lawyer, a counselor, whatever it is. So consulting someone that they admire, that they trust, because they're feeling frustrated. They want to be out of some kind of third party situation. Um, they know they have to heal themselves, so they're working on that. They're trying to figure out what this journey is all about. Some of them may have addictions, okay? that he has really, um, they've been given their power away to, and some of them, um, they're looking at how to squash some kind of particular conflict or how to stop sabotaging themselves. So that's the kind of research that they're doing right now. So that's what I'm saying. I think everybody is just tr trying to be the best version of themselves right now for them, not to attract a partner. Okay, and then we have on DF's side, <laughs> we have a man running away, right? So she's thinking that DM is running away from this connection, okay? So she's enjoying her life. She's, she's like, you know what? Um, if he wants to run away, then he can run away. I'm just going to stay right here, and I'm just going to be in Empress Energy. He is actually thinking about building. There's a structure here. There's a building here, okay? There's also, um, is it a plane? So he's thinking about coming towards you and building something, DF. Yeah, it, yeah. It's a building and there's a plane. Yeah, so he's thinking about coming towards you and building something. And I don't want to trigger you guys, but um, the, the two most prominent buildings in this... <clears throat> oh, guys, so please don't get triggered. I'm just trying to... Whoa. The two most prominent buildings in this is actually the Twin Towers. So he's actually thinking that he may have caused some kind of major catastrophe. Yeah. Yeah, like, like, he, like he blew this connection up. That's what I'm getting. Like he blew this connection up. Like he blew this connection up. That's what he blew it. He blew it. He blew this connection up. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. So he's here. Um, and he's figuring, he's trying to figure out how to rebuild after um, this total catastrophe that befell you guys. Now I see here that the connecting energy is a bit of sadness. So I'm going to pull cards. Okay. Hey, sad guy. Where did you go? Hey, sad guy. What was this guy? Okay. I'm going to roll again. Sorry guys. It was sad guy. Yeah. Yeah. It's sad guy. Somebody want to cry. All right. So let's see. For DF, that sad guy means. <laughs> why, why is DF feeling sad? Okay. Feeling a bit stuck here. Feeling a bit stuck. Eight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, wanting an apology. Wanting to build something here. Okay. But following her intuition. And her intuition um, is telling her right now um, that she needs to manifest a new beginning for herself. Okay, so again, that, that acceptance and, you know, whatever it is, will is. Okay, so she is, you know, she's, she's the empress, right? DM is sad because
Page of Swords. He's there stalking, um, looking at the F. Okay, but not expressing his emotions. Okay, um, just like that Knight of Cups that we had there. Uh, that Knight of, uh, yeah, yeah, that Knight of Swords we have there. Not expressing his emotions at all because. Yeah, he's in some kind of karmic situation that he's trying to get out of. But he wants to come back and make things right, balance these scales here. Give equally to this connection. Okay, But he's not taking action right now. Nobody in this connection is taking action towards the other person. Let's go to the tarot. What does your person want you to know? So whether you're watching as the M or you're watching as the F, what does your person want you to know right now? I'm going to take four cards. So DF living her best life, thinking that DM is running away. And DM is sad, thinking that he blew this connection up and doesn't know um, how to break thing, bring things back together. But we also have the moon here. We have the moon and her stars. So it's about both of them listening to their intuition and moving um, towards healing by doing shadow work because the, the moon um, is about shadow work. All right, so whether you're watching as DF or DM, what is the message for your counterpart? We have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Oh my God, Virgo. <clears throat> we have the Three of Wands. We have the Devil. And we have the King of Cups in reverse. All right. So what's going on here? All right. So it looks like whether you're DM or DF, your, part, your counterpart wants you to know that they are waiting. Okay? But rather, they're not waiting. I mean, three of wands is usually waiting. This person's not waiting. You know what this person's doing? This person is procrastinating <clears throat> and overthinking and stressing themselves to F out. Okay? <laughs> stressing themselves um, completely out. Okay, it looks like there's some kind of addiction, some kind of toxic energy in their life, some kind of codependent energy in their life, and it's preventing them from expressing their feelings fully. So let me pull cards on that and let's see what this is all about. Spirit, why did you give us this Knight of Pentacles? Yeah, you see, your person is still holding on to something that they know that they have to release. It's, it's all about fear. It's all about fear, okay? It's the fear of the unknown. This is what it's all about. It's all about fear, yeah? So they're here in stalemate energy. Look, Pisces, the hangman. Thinking about everything bad that can happen. Not talking, not speaking their truth, okay? Um, they might be the victim of abuse, someone who's physic, um, verbally abusive, right? So they're there up in their head, um, thinking about the worst things that can happen, thinking about they're not good enough, etc., etc., etc. So this waiting really is procrastinating, okay? Because spirit wants them to take action, but they're procrastinating because one, there's a karmic energy in their life, whether it's a mother figure or an intimate partner or family members or friends. And two, again, it keeps coming out consistently, some sort of financial hardship or financial loss. So it looks like they are codependent on somebody else. Whoever your person is, or the devil. They're codependent on somebody else. And I'm getting particularly for finances. I see them trying to sneak away. I see them trying to create a plan here um, to stand in their power. But right now, um, they ain't moving. They're grieving. They're grieving. Sad guy. They're grieving. We have the devil here again. Okay. Yeah, this person, whoever we're tapping into, um, they have an issue with boundaries. Setting healthy boundaries for their life. Okay, let's delve a little deeper into this. Yeah, and this is something that they're trying to heal. This is something that they're trying to heal. They've identified that this is their issue and they're trying to heal this. So whether it's boundaries, and it looks like it's boundaries, for some of them it's addictions. They're trying to heal this um, before they come forward. Let's see this King of Cups in reverse. That looks like the karmic. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So eight of wands in reverse. Somebody feels stuck here. 
um, with a karmic energy. Yes, and they're not happy. We have the three of cups in reverse. Yeah, um, but this is a karmic soulmate that they're with, so there's still a karmic debt um, that's being wrapped up here. Mm -hmm. They're going to speak their truth and they're going to lay those healthy boundaries, um, but it doesn't look like it's going to be soon because, look, we have this three of wands here, the procrastinator, and look, we have the overthinker. Let's ask specifically, what's their, um, their plan of action um, towards you by the end of the month? All right, so this person overthinking, they're thinking about all the things that can happen. This person has low self-esteem. They operate from a place of fear. So this waiting is really procrastinating for them because they have some kind of codependency going on. It could be an addiction. It could be a karmic energy. But this is what's preventing them from speaking their truth and to step fully into their feelings and to speak about their feelings and to acknowledge um, fully what they're feeling for you inside. Um, potential actions towards you by the end of the month. What's the plan of action? towards you by the end of the month we have the emperor beautiful because i mean df is the empress so we have the emperor that's taurus and aries we have the queen of cups she's in the upright that's df because in my um, readings all upright court cards are divine energies so that's cancer cancer coming out really strongly again and we have the Four of Swords in reverse. That's about action. And we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse, which is my Abandonment Issues card. All right? So it looks like um, leading up to the end of the month, and by the end of the month, I'm thinking the end of September because we're almost um, at the end of August, okay? This person is going to be healing um, this woundedness inside, and the woundedness is connected deeply to some abandonment issue um, as a child. Let me get a clarifier on that. Yes. Okay. And this is something that they've been toting around and it's been causing them a lot of anxiety for a long time. But at the end of the month and by the end of September, I mean, September, I mean it looks like this person is going to release this anxiety and um, face their fear. Okay. Um, I see them taking action here with the Four of Swords reverse, because Four of Swords upright, it talks about healing, it talks about resting, yes, resting, it talks about not doing an F, okay? But it looks like your person, um, they're going to be taking action here, and they're taking action towards this Queen of Cups, okay? Um, intuitive, loving, leads with her heart. This is DF all the way. Um, and they're working on being the emperor and showing up for you and showing up for this connection, all right? Let's get a message from their higher self. What does their higher self want you to know right now? We have justice. We have the spy. Well, we got that already. We have, I'm not ready for what you have to offer right now. And we have, I'm waiting for the right time to be transparent with you. So we have two cards of waiting. We have two cards of not being ready. And that's what I was telling you guys about people working on being the best version of themselves. Your person's not ready. They're still in the oven. They're not finished baking as yet, okay? They're waiting for the right time to be transparent with you. But they are acknowledging to themselves that they're not ready for a healthy relationship. They're not. They're not ready for a healthy relationship. Um, they've gotten that red light from spirit. Red card, right? They're not ready. They're not ready. They know that. So in the meantime, they're going to be keeping their eye on you. They're going to be working on themselves. We see that. They're doing all this research, doing all, all those helps, those self-help books and that kind of stuff. But they're also going to be keeping an eye on you. And their plan is to come back and make things right. Okay? We do have the hand of faith stepping in right but right now your person's not ready mm, they're still baking all right so what is the last bit of advice for you from spirit they're still baking they're not ready What do we got? We have co-create. I think we got this already this week. It says co-create. It's a card number four. And that's about building new foundations. And we did get that building card from DM. So let's have a look at what this means 
40. Okay, so it says, Connections of the heart serve to inspire you, open you up to new ideas you would never have come to on your own. You are looking in a mirror. So whatever we saw here also kind of pertains to you. You are looking in a mirror held up by this experience and seeing yourself in an unexpected way. Who is this extraordinary being looking back at you? You are going to be so happy that you kept your heart open. Your love is a unique work of art now. The very embodiment of beauty. So it looks like there's something that's coming into the 3D. Okay? That's what it looks like. And they're calling it a magnificent work of art, a thing of beauty. So there's something being prepared, something about to ground. But right now, it's not ready. It's not ready. Okay? So spirit just, the, the, the message here is, Whatever is to is, will is. You don't have to get your panties or your pants in a twist or anything like that. What is to is, will is. You ca they can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Okay? They can delay, but you can't stop it. It's going to happen when spirit says it's going to happen. Spirit is in control. Spirit is in control. Okay? All right, guys. That was your reading. I hope that it helped you. Take care. Stay calm. Focus on yourself. Especially with everything that's happening here. Make sure that you are healthy, especially emotionally and healthy. Emotionally and mentally healthy, okay? Because there's a lot of things coming at you every day, whole day, every day. Please don't gouge on the news and all of that. Okay? So it's not as you know, practice any kind of escapism, you know, when you try and to ignore what's happening in the world, but certainly it's about safeguarding your energy first. And there's nothing selfish about that. That's an act of self-love. Okay? Alright, guys, take care. Bye.